After his introductory news conference in Baton Rouge on Monday, one thing was clear. Steve Cragthorpe is thrilled to be back in coaching and was eager to share his offensive philosophy. I think the biggest thing in offensive football is you want to have enough variety that you can attack the defense. And you want to have enough variety of schemes, plays, that you can feel like going into a game and playing throughout the game that you're in a position where you can attack the weaknesses of the defense and any defensive weaknesses you might see as that game progresses. And yet by the same token, you can't have so much volume that you can't be good at practicing all those plays. So we, we don't want to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. He was a head coach at Louisville from 2007 to 2009 after a successful four-year run as the head coach at Tulsa. His specialty, quarterbacks, something he learned at an early age while his father coached some exceptional signal callers at BYU, like Steve Young. I heard Steve say one time in an interview that all you had to do was film him from his hips down and he could tell you what kind of game he played. So to me, coaching the quarterback is about two things. You play with your feet and you play with your head. With that philosophy, he was impressed with what he saw from Jordan Jefferson in the Cotton Bowl, but was quick to point out. I don't think there's any question that we've got a good group of quarterbacks and all jobs are open. Uh, we do have an incumbent or incumbents because both of those guys have played, but you know the best players are going to play. I tell people all the time, you know, if you want seniority, you join the Army. If you want to uh, want to play with the best players, come to LSU. In the NFL, he was a quarterback coach for two years in Buffalo. His head coach, Saints current defensive coordinator, Greg Williams. The hardest part about working for Greg was Greg was a defensive guy. And so every day in practice, you were seeing it. I mean, that guy blitzes from everywhere. I mean, he brought, it's, it was like Canadian football. He's bringing 12 and 14 guys all the time, it looked like. Greg uh, is a great person, great football coach. And I learned a lot from Greg. I learned a lot about adversity from Greg, you know, because we took over a pretty tough situation there in Buffalo. We went 3-13 and 13 the first year in Buffalo. Uh, but Greg did a phenomenal job of keeping that team together and playing hard. There's still plenty of time to make a final decision, but a closing question. Will he be coaching games from the booth or the field? You know, that's a great question, and that's something we really haven't talked about with Les and I. Just initially, my thought process would be I'd prefer to be in the booth. I just think you can see things a lot better. Um, you know, there, there's obviously some, some pros and cons of each. You know, when you're down on the field, you get a little bit better feel for the game. But I think with technology now, with headsets and ring down phones, you can talk to the players. So I, I, initially, my thought process would be that I would be upstairs, but that's something that could certainly change.